Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Funtime Crafts 24 7. And I have a little uh, project share here for you, a small tutorial. Um, I was having fun making some uh, color washed backgrounds here with the uh, Stamps of Life uh, ink uh, refills and uh, made this background here and then um, layered on top of it a Stampin' Up die set. Um, this one here, it's this uh, border die, and I thought we could do a little uh, one, a red one for the candy canes, and I was going to show you how I made it. Um, spritzed a little on top of it, I spritzed a little of the, uh, whoops, Heidi Swap uh, Color Shine, and I think this is, uh, in gold, this is gold, and um, then stuck some little um, nail uh, decorator strips on here. And then used one of my uh, Stamps of Life Little Merry Christmas stamps and made a little embellishment there with a little bow and some gems. And thought we could make these color wash backgrounds. So basically all I did was, um, I, this is a piece of mixed media cardstock. It, it's not very, uh, you know, thick or anything. Just a cheap um, Canson mixed media for uh, acrylic, watercolor, uh, pen or pencil. Um, I picked this up. It was, gosh, it was, a. it wasn't on clearance, but it was on a really good sale at, uh, Joann's Fabrics. Um, and so then I just put a little piece of tape on the back and then, um, taped down both sides. Um, uh, so that way it doesn't, it helps it to stay flat while it's drying. And then, um, Use my little distress sprayer and spritz the paper with uh, pretty liberally with some water. And then I take some, I'm, you're going to need a water brush pen. And then I take a, this one's in Poppy. Uh, so I thought I'll just drop it on the top up there. See what we get for that. And then uh, just take my little water brush pen here and I do a little, uh, swirling around in the uh, water there. Since we're doing candy canes, I wanted to do uh, red, you know. And then we'll go and um, do a little variation there, a little. Um, give it a little uh, Have some fun with that. And it's a A2 size card panel, so we don't need a very big. Uh, piece. And there you have it. You just do that. Let this dry for a little bit. And then you get that really fun uh, ombre effect with the different colors and things. And then uh, I just wash my water brush out all the way to the end. Um, and then you can use uh, the various colors in different projects. See, and then it'll it'll all even out after. But I, li I actually like all the different colors. Um, I think I'm going to add one more drop here. And uh, do a little bit of... fun little I like all the different colors like that and so um, that's all we do with that let's uh, let that dry and then I'll show you what we do after that okay so I hit that with my heat tool to help it dry a little bit faster and then um, what I do after that is I just um, Pop a little of this uh, gold or if you've got mica spray or whatever you have to go on top of this. Uh, actually, let's put a uh, mica spray on the top of this one. And, uh, well, this is a Hero Arts little uh, shimmer spray here. Oh, oh, and it's in gold. Uh, this is the stuff I used too for the uh, celestial background. 
uh, for the Mountain Moose class uh, on my version of it. I used a shimmer spray on the background and boy it sure adds a really nice touch of shine and uh, sparkle to your project. So then we'll let that um, dry. I'll hit it with my heat tool and then we'll come back and we'll uh, use this fun little candy cane uh, Stampin' Up die. I'll be right back. Okay, so there we go. Uh, all dried up there and I cut it down to three and three quarters by five. Um, then I cut out a white um, panel that is four or four by five and a quarter uh, to mount this on top of. Then I cut out an A2 size card base in Poppy since we did use the Poppy ink on this. And um, we're going to stack them up like that. And then um, I cut out this uh, Stampin' Up! little um, edge die, uh, the candy cane one. Um, I originally did it in this, that little opalescent cardstock that I got from Tonic Studios, um, this here, but I didn't think that it added it quite enough, so I thought, well, let's go ahead and use up, use the glitter paper, and I think that really, that does it, it, it brings in the, um, it picks up the poppy color, and really, uh, the white, matte helps it to really stand out and really pop there so um I, I did that and so then this piece here is the same uh, length as this which is the uh five inches and um then it just you you just cut it out i i actually cut out a five by three and three quarters panel put that on and then um centered up the die on it on the panel to where I would get all the candy canes and then it would cut off the two little candies on the top and the bottom uh, to get that panel there. There was a little like a little ting, uh, an extra little piece off the bottom that I did cut off. I just snipped it off with some scissors. And uh, so I'm going to glue this together and then we'll figure out what to finish embellishing it with. So I'll be right back. Oh, here's a little trick too to gluing these panels down. Um, because with all the ink and then you got the shimmer spray and stuff on top of it, they could be a little bit, um, if your fingers are slightly damp or whatever, they can be, or it can actually just still be sticky. So what I do is I put the glue, I apply the glue, and then, um, center it up on the mat. where I want it but then I take a piece of copy paper over the top of it and that's how I uh, press it down and you don't want to leave it there too long because the um, since we're doing this card pretty quick that shimmer spray doesn't dr hasn't dried all the way and so you get that and that would be all over your hands the other thing too is if you don't let this dry like overnight or for quite a while um, you'll get some on your uh, your uh, paper trimmer. So you want to make sure to wash your paper trimmer off if you're in a hurry like I am and I'm just, you know, cutting it out and doing doing my thing and not worrying about that stuff. Um, you definitely want to make sure you wipe your paper cutter off in between and everything and then after when you're all done. So let me finish putting this together and then we'll show you what we ended up with. Okay, so there we are. Um, went ahead and put some poppy ribbon on there. Um, which came from the birthday, uh, Stamps of Life birthday card kit. Um, did the little Merry Christmas sentiment from the Stamps of Life uh, HSN. More, it's uh, 15 more circles for HSN, that one there. Um, went over the Merry Christmas part in a glitter gel pen there. And uh, there you have it. A super fun little Christmas card there. Uh, so we did one in green. Uh, green apple is what that one is. And then this one's done in poppy. And this is the spearmint card base there. And so um, paired with some fun edge dies, those are a hoot. I think they uh, came out pretty nice, pretty fun. So um, until next time, you guys have a super fun crafty weekend. Uh, we'll catch you either uh, tomorrow or on Monday. Thanks, guys. Bye.